Hello everybody, Mr. Mintley here, and welcome to Brick by Brick. I almost forgot the name of the thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is my series for this channel, and I was going for this first episode, Build Something Awesome. So, uh, I've been thinking of what to build, and I want to build in creative mode because, uh, reasons. No. I just wanted to build it because I think there's a lot of super cool things that I can do with a little bit of uh, materials that I can't normally find in uh, Minecraft. Or build. Or any of that stuff. Anyway. Back to the point. Um, this episode, I will be building, and possibly the next episode, I will be building a Taoist temple. And if you don't know what Taoism is, Taoism is a religion... Well, technically, it's a way of life. Uh, it follows the yin and yang, which is a symbol for balance and peace. Uh, a lot of people refer to them as goodness and badness. Mm, that's not really true, to be honest. Um, really, what it's meant for balance. It's it's peace and unrest. It's light, dark, heat, cold, things like that. Everyday things that you wouldn't normally think about. So I'm going to be building that. Um... I have plenty of choices of options to choose from, and the ones I thought, and I already, I already know this because I built this before, uh, the, th the things that I, I like to make it out of are smooth sandstone, regular sandstone, we will be needing, uh, crap, glass, um, oh, you could use a regular door, you could use an iron door for this, uh, personally I like the wooden door, it goes a little bit better with the sandstone. The reason why I choose sandstone is because it, it resembles more of a marble structure, and that really works out a lot better with uh, temples and whatnot because marble is awesome looking um, so yeah we're gonna go with that and then I also need gold or you can use diamond or emerald but I'm just gonna use gold and we need a beacon so let me beacon um, and we also need stairs as well um, uh, sandstone stairs, those are, those are good. Um, torches, and that we'll get into later. Alright, so, first thing you want to do, okay, the very first thing you want to do, place the center block, okay? Now, you can make your circle any size you want to. Uh, if you don't know how to make a circle using squares or blocks, uh, use the radius or diameter. If you don't know what those are, learn geometry, folks. Please. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, radius is the half of the diameter of the circle. The diameter is the full length from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle. It's always going to be the same no matter which part. And it has to go through the center. Anyway, and so the, the size I figured is the best is um, a 10 radius circle or a 20 diameter circle for those of you who want to get all savvy. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 19. Alright, now we just place a marker there so we know which one's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We want to place it on the 10th block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Oh. Excuse me, that's an. Oh. Oh god, I'm such an idiot. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That never happened. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Excuse me for one moment. Just gotta do something. Here we go. My apologies. Alright, I had to fix something. I'm sorry. Anyway. Alright. Now. Now what you wanna do. Now that you have your ten or 10 radius uh, diameter stuff all worked out. Now what you want to do is you want to fill in the edges. So the best way to do that is to take one edge, like two blocks in between, and you want to copy the same design for each, otherwise you might not get it right. So whenever you add a block on that side, add a block on that side. And you want to come two out there, two out. And you want to do this diagonal uh, scheme for a little bit. And you want to do two and as you notice, it comes to a little center point, and that's the way your circle is going to look. You're going to copy this design for all four sides, like I'm going to do, and I will see you when I get done with it. Okay, 
Now, as you can see, I filled in the other edges as so. Um, what you end up with the final production is a nice, lovely circle. Now that you have that done, you can remove this center piece, and it'll give you a nice, beautiful circle. Now, it isn't quite a definition of the actual circle, because circle has no edges, but we're not getting technical here. Alright, so, now what you want to do, um, you can use other materials for this. Personally, you can use black wool and white wool. You can use obsidian and sand if you want to. You can use, uh... You know, anything you want to represent the yin and the yang. It doesn't have to be black and white, but I'm going to go traditional. However, the only thing about this is I'm not going to use wool. I'm going to use something that is plentiful, and I'm going to use something that's available to a lot of people. And something that you don't really have to work towards to find very hard. You can use obsidian as well, and that works out well. However, I'm going to use, uh, not dark oak, uh, spruce wood planks and birch wood planks. Those will represent my yin and my yang. So, uh, how you want to do this is you want to make a divider. A center line where you can... Or <laughs> forget that. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to fill in three with that, and then three on the other opposite end like that. That will be where the two heads of the structure will meet. And you want to do that because both sides are supposed to be equal and symmetrical. And by doing so, you can ensure that. Okay. So, now you want to, what you want to do is you want to choose like which side you want to go through. Uh, I'm going to have the white blocks go this way. So what you want to do is you want to fill in the edge like so. Uh, like that. And then you want to do the same with the darker planks or whatever other material you want to use. Um, the darker material. There. Like so. And now you have a little bit of this going on. This looks all good. Now you need to fill in all this. Now the reason why I'm leaving this center part untouched is for reasons because... That is where it gets really crazy with all the symmetry and the lines and the dividers and whatnot. So we're going to leave that part and that last bit where it should belong, and that is last. So you're going to fill in all this. Do not fill in the three square part, except for what you've already done, of course, along the edge. As so. Just like that. And you do the same for the other side, and I will do that, and I will meet you right back here when I am finished. Okay, so we finished all this, and now it looks like this. Does that look like a yin-yang? No. Okay, so now what you want to do. Okay, so since the head of the yin... I forget, I forget which one's lighter or darker or whatnot, but I'm just going to call the white yin and the dark yang. I don't remember. Um, so what you want to do is, since this is the head of the yin, what you want to do is you want to fill in up to two blocks, and you want to come back two blocks, like so. That's what that's going to look like, okay? And you're going to do the same for this. You're going to come out three, and then you're going to go down two, and you're going to come out, and you're going to go back one, and then you're going to do that, like so. So now it looks like this. It's turning into more of a yin yang. It's almost done. Now you just have to fill in this. Fun, right? Okay, so now what you want to do is you just want to fill in to the best of your ability. Oh, God, I don't remember how to do this now. I need to look at a picture. Hold on. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. I have to look at a picture. I am very sorry, guys. Um, I built this a couple nights ago, I want to say. Uh, and I did this in creative mode as well. And I just need to look at what it looks like. Um... Actually, I did that wrong. Whoopsies. Uh, this is actually... No, I did that right. Never mind. Um, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did that right. Okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to fill in this. Because where this ends is where that ends. And you want to do the same for this. Screw up. Alright, and now for this central part. This is probably 
a more crucial part. You want to choose one side, whichever side has less, and then it'll be the black side. So I'm going to add, um, actually, shoot, I did this wrong again. No, I didn't wait. Yeah, I did. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Very sorry about this, guys. I need to um, work on this a little bit more. I need to work on finalizing details and whatnot. Um, this is messed up. I'll, I'll meet you right back here when I figure this out. Alright, I'm back. I didn't do anything wrong. This is what it's supposed to look like, to be honest. Um, so yeah. All that time I thought I was doing something wrong, and I wasn't. Okay, so now that you have this, you need to put in the eyes. So how we're going to do this, you basically select, uh, take off, go three from the edge, and go one, two, three, four. So after you finish, like, after after you get the, the final head on this side, or the opposite side, you do, you do the three from the edge thing right here, so you end up where the next square will be the other side. And then you go down that next square, and then you do this, and then you put two, three, four. And you want it to be four. Do the same thing with the... Hold. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, I see what I did wrong. Hold up. Forget that. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone. I did do something wrong. I'm supposed to invert. I see. I see. I see. So I move this, and it needs to be stop right here. So actually, it's gonna look like this. My bad. I'm so sorry. No, it just looks terrible and very, very, very messed up. Oh wait, there we go. I think I fixed it now. Correct, correct, correct. Did I get it? Did I do it? Did I do it? I did it. There we go. We got it. We got it. So now it looks like that. I messed up again. New. No. Ah, who cares? Actually, this won't even matter because I'm going to do something with that side. Alright, so you want to come three off this and you want to do one, two, three. No. One, two. Sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I thought I had this down. Oh, that's supposed to be white. You want to do that? All right. And you want to do the same thing with uh, this side. One, two, three, four. No, it's up more. Okay, sorry. Uh, like that. And it should look like this. Brilliant, right? Okay. So now that we have this yin yang done. Next thing we need to move on to is the entrance to the temple. Now, how I want to do this? Well, we take our uh, smooth sandstone and our regular sandstone, and we're going to spruce these edges up a bit later um, to make it look a little bit more, a little bit, little bit better eventually. So, yeah. Basically, what you want to do is you want to make a mini circle, right? So you want to come one out. Shoot. You want to do three. And one out, and then three, and then three, and one out. So it should look like that, right? So that's the little mini entrance. Now what you want to do is you want to shift it in four blocks. Okay? So you want to do... And this is the... Uh, I forget which property this is, but I, it's this is all mathematics. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And on the fourth block, you place that. And then you can destroy that. One, two, three, four. Those two go there. We might have to move the eye, which is perfectly okay. Fixable. Um, destroy those. Um, and we can take this one, two, three, four. Place that there. Okay, and then we do that one there, that one there. Destroy these three blocks, which is fine. And we can actually get rid of that for right now because we don't need that. 
Um, place this block here. Whoop, wrong material. <laughs> and then you can move these three blocks here. It gets kind of confusing because you have all these other parts, but it's okay. If you just, you know, one, two, three, four, place that there. And then you can take, uh, that needs to stay there. And I could take one, two, three, two, three, and there you go. So now you have your yin yang with a little bit of a, um, I did screw up on that eye, with, with a little entrance. But we're not done yet, okay? And I'm gonna come back inside because this is why I thought I was so messed up in the first place. Um, like so. So you wanna come two off of that and then do that. And you wanna do the same on this side. Uh, two off of that. One, two, three, four. Crap. One, two, three, four. And then, like so. So now you have a better representation of what the yin yang should look like. Great. So now you have your layout. And then you can get rid of this. Because none of this matters. This will all be part of the entrance. Crap. I messed up again. Okay, so now that we have our foundations. Now what we are going to do is we are going to start making it a little bit prettier in terms of stuff. Alright, so which means we're also going to be building the walls and making all that look fancy. Alright, so you have this, right? Nothing really f too fancy or finesse about it, but we're not done yet. So now what you want to do, you're going to choose a block. Choose probably the center block that you started off with, right? Take that back. What you're going to do is you're going to choose this end block right here. And you are going to destroy the one next to it. Why? Place sandstone there. And then do every other one after that. Like so. Poor skeleton died. But that's okay. We don't need him. Okay. Drop... I'm going to do every other one. Like that. And you should have that on either side. And then what you want to do is you want to do the same for this as well. So you want to do... Whoops. You want to do the same for this entire thing. Okay. I did mess up, okay. I don't know why it didn't look quite right. And there we go. We got it. Alright, then. Put your sandstone stairs and a smooth sandstone there. And you're going to build up these walls. Now, we're just doing the entrance for right now. So don't build up any other walls at the moment. And you're going to do this, okay? I'm going to make them all three high for right now. All right. Three high. Three high. And you're just doing it for the entrance, remember. Three high, three high. And you're going to do the same thing for this and for this. Oh, you can destroy these two because that doesn't matter because those are going to be part of a door. Alright, and you can do this. Just do this. Um, like that. And then like that. And you're going to do the same thing over here. And you're going to do that. And that is what that is going to look like, guys and girls. Alright, so now what you want to do, now you just have this. It's flat. No, we don't want that. We want a domed shape. And we're going to fix that right here, right now. So now what you want to do is you want to come off the edge. Now for ceiling, I didn't want to do uh, anything too special. Basically, I just did smooth sandstone for all of this. You could, you could, you may choose to do uh, the same pattern as you did with the siding. I didn't. I don't know. I just felt like I didn't want to. Oh. I made a boo-boo. Didn't I? I made a boo-boo something. Yeah, I did make a boo-boo. 
goes right there. I did make a boo boo. Okay, fix the boo boo. Alright. You wanna do the same thing. Come off the edge. Um uh, like so. There. And you have this. This is your entrance. And actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to do that pattern because it looks much nicer on this. Do that. Um, I can't really do it on this side. So I guess it just matters for the four uh, sides. I almost said four corners, but you can't do them on the corners. Just what I said. Now, you may notice you have a hole on the top. Don't plug that. The, actually, take that back. You can plug that. Put a piece of glass right there. Why? We'll find out soon. Now, I'm just working on the entrance right now. I'll move on to the interior in a moment. Or the more of the exterior of the actual thing later. Now what you want to do, okay? You're going to go in here. Why? Why, why, why? Always the whys. Well, because this is where your beacon is going to go. You want to dig out a nice little uh, interior here. What you want to do is you want to place uh, gold, you can use emerald, diamond, whatever your preference, whatever your choice, does not matter to me. You want to place it, oh god, it got really dark. Remember, I had to place it there. You want to place it all around here. And you're actually going to want to dig out another layer here. To expand. Um, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then fill in this part first. There we go. And you wanna, you know, do this. So you've got that. Something to step on. Okay, and then you've got this. I realize this isn't a square, is it? No, it is not. Hold a moment. Sorry. Eh, good enough. Okay, and we could fill this in with, with this. I guess I don't have any dirt on my person at the moment. And you want to put one gold block there. And you want to put a beacon. Not there. There. No? Where's the where's the beacon of hope? Oh wait, I did it wrong. Whoopsies. The beacon actually goes right here. Then it should fire. Yeah, there we go. And you could put a piece of glass right there so nobody falls. Perfect. All right. So now you have your temple with, well, and tem and temple entrance with your beacon of hope, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's just the entrance. If you think it's getting cool right now, mm, you're in for a doozy later. Okay, and then you want to put a wooden door here. And there! You have your entrance. Now on here, you could put a door there. I don't want to put a door there, because I just want it to be a free, you can walk in, and... Oh. That does not look very fancy. I am just going to fill this in with sandstone so it does not look so tacky from the outside. There, like that. Now you can't see that it's sitting on gold. Take that back, you can see if you look straight down into it, but that's not recommended. <sighs> Beacon! Okay. Anyway. Alright, now you want to copy this design. You want to come three or four up. It's up to you, to be honest. Um, the three up idea is perfectly A-OK. -okay. Um, so I'm going to do this all around. You do follow the pattern and whatnot, and I will see you when I get back. Hey guys, I'm back, and I have just finished the walls, and now we are ready to start the actual roof or dome for this. Now... Oh, it's raining. I forgot how to change the weather. Crap. Oh well. I don't remember, so I'll just... I forget, I think it's like set. I don't know. I don't bother looking up. Hopefully you can hear me over the rain. If not, bear with me, please. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to do the, the domed cap design. 
Same as what you did here for the uh, center. Only difference is you're going to have a little bit of a flat side right here. That's okay. It's perfectly okay. It's going to happen. So, uh, you can use, what, like I said, you can you keep doing the pattern if you so wish to do so. Uh, I will not do so because, uh, I, I don't know, just, just because, uh, you can, it's perfectly valid option, it's, probably, you probably do it for a few layers, and then towards the top you can get towards the smooth stone, uh, probably because, um, you know, you don't really visit the top in survival, if you're making this in survival, which is very highly recommended, because it is a great place if you are, if you like Chinese culture, and you love Chinese, uh, you love the Taoist religion, uh, yeah, it is a very perfectly okay thing. Alright, okay, okay, okay. I, 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 like I said, you have a little bit of a flat side. Uh, you could fix it if you want. Uh, you don't really have to, to be honest. Um, you can leave it as you wish. Eventually we're going to put a skylight in so you can, you know, get sun from the from the roof, and that'll be very, very cool. So cool. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna want to fill this in. By the way, break any edge pieces you don't need, like the interior uh, pieces like this. Because, for the reason, because on the inside, if you see those, it doesn't really look like a dome. It doesn't look really good at all, really, to be honest. And I hear an Enderman who's freaking out because it's raining. But yeah, it really, it kind of loses its interior step design if you do that. So yeah, it just kind of looks weird like that. Yeah, which is why I take them off. So do that. It helps. All right, so you just want to do the same layer over and over until you get to a point that you want to stop, and then I will show you what you can do with a skylight. And I will see you when I get back. See ya.
Alright, I am back, and I have reached a stopping point to the point I want to not do this any longer. So, now what I want to do is... You can continue. Now the options, you know, the options you have, you can just flatten it with glass, like so, and just continue like filling this in like I'm going to do. Or you can continue the dome design with the glass, which I have not tried out, to be honest. Um, I would love to do it, but I just figured I would just do this because it's much faster, much easier, and I would have to record less, which I don't feel like doing uh, more because I am not feeling up to snuff today. So I would just flatten this off, and we will move on to the interior design, which I don't know why I just destroyed that. So, um, crap. I don't know what the inside of a Taoist temple looks like. Um, or any Taoist temple for that matter. Uh, basically what I know is nothing. So what I will be doing is I will be taking redstone torches and regular torches, and I will be taking, uh, here's Blue Santa, uh, stairs, I need, uh, god, this music, or this rain is really loud. Whew. Much better, okay. So I, I will be taking a... Uh, some of the sand, some of the stand, sandstone stairs, and I will be needing some smooth sandstone. I will be needing some torches and redstone torches. Uh, some of these, some of these, and then I will also be needing more stairs. For the reason, because like I said, I don't know what a Taoist temple looks like, so I will be needing some. I I don't know if they sit in pews. I don't know what they do. So what I will do to improvise, for that matter, is I will be taking some, uh, some of these, uh, oh god, there are bats in here. Uh, okay, let's light this up. Um, and the way I figured this design should go, is I figured, I thought it would be cool and really interesting if it went in a pattern, you see. Like, torch... Redstone torch, torch, redstone torch, you know, the, the, oh great, there's a hole in the roof, right, like so. Uh, and it just like, it just alternated. Uh, personally, the redstone torches I like the most, um, probably because they give off, actually no, you know what, I'm changing, I'm changing stuff, I'm doing stuff, I'm doing it differently. I'm going to use only redstone torches except for this one. Why, you might ask? Because I feel the redstone torches, they give off, except for like in the parts where you really don't light up, I'll put regular torches there. Nah, 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 nah. That just gives it, that just gives away feeling. The redstone torches give off an eerie kind of glow like that. And it is, it, like, if you, if when you go inside a temple or something, a lot of times, especially if it's really old and really holy, you'll see a lot of like darkness. Which, in, in most cases, is okay, because you expect that from an older structure. But, you don't really see a lot of light. Which is oh, which is perfectly okay, because this goes great with our design. And I'm actually going to change this up a little bit more. Uh, I'm sorry that I keep changing. Um, but, like, the, what I'm making room for... I just don't have enough space. So I am deeply, deeply sorry. Uh, what I do? Come two off of this. So now the change in plans is come two off of this, and on this, boop, 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 right? Yeah, like that. Which you know, it still it still has the yin yang. Mm, partially because I've screwed it up. There, it still has a yin and a yang. Uh, the reason why I changed is because I'm putting an altar here. Yay. So it's gonna come out like this. And it's gonna have this. Uh, you can fill this in. Like so. One out here, one out here. Okay, like that. Uh, my other design, it came out a little bit further. I do believe. But I won't do that. I uh, hit a bat. I am so sorry, Mr. Bat. Did not mean to do that, Mr. Bat. Alright, and you want to do some some very interesting 
things. The things. Because this is the altar, I want it to look very interesting. Very elegant. Um, and this will be the preacher stand. I don't know. Like I said, I've never seen the inside of a temple. I don't know if they have these little preacher stands, but if they do, then I've got it. I'm going to do that. That looks amazing. So this is basically the inside of the temple. If you want to add more, please do. Uh, I mean, this is just a basic. This is nothing really all that special. Um, if you think of more ideas, please go ahead. This is this is something you can just build off of. If you think you, if you think I did something wrong, fix it, please. Of please, if you if you think there's something that you want to change and you don't want to follow by my rules, do so. This is Minecraft. You can do whatever the hell you want. You can build a giant dick in the sky if you want to. Up to you. And so that is your giant. It's not giant, but you know what I mean. It's this is your temple. All right. So when what I like to do with and this is like the same for all houses. I like to write, light up the roof for a couple different reasons. Because this is a temple, uh, you do not want creepers crashing down from the ceiling and exploding in your face and causing damage to your yin and yang. Therefore, place torches, ample torches, on the top. Because if it's too dark, or if it's dark enough, monsters will spawn there and it will not be healthy for you or your temple, or the people inside of it. So, by all means, please put torches. It will keep them all safe and sound. So. Alright, finish up the list. Okay. I believe the side of them but messed up. I don't care. And that is your temple. So. Like I said, if you have anything you want to add on to this, if you want to add a chandelier to this, go right ahead. This is Minecraft. Do whatever you want. It doesn't. This doesn't have to be my design. It can be your design. If you want to add paintings here, do it. Do it, please. You can do whatever you want. Make it yours. This is. This is just something that I whipped up. This is something that I made. Uh. If you feel like you could have done something a little bit better, do it. I believe that every person and every every individual has their own creativity. So if you have something you can do to make this a little bit better, that much fancier, by all means, do it. Um, this, is, this is my design. Uh, I didn't take this from somebody else. Somebody else did this. I am deeply sorry, but... Um, I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time, and I've been lo I love yin yangs. I love the Chinese religion. Uh, I love Taoism. It's awesome. Um, if you find anything I screwed up on, or you want to change something, do it, please. I know I said that a couple times now, but still, I am really emphasizing that. Also, what you could do is put glowstone here, put glowstone there. Uh, I did that in my last one, uh, which I'm going to do right now. Because glowstone really adds to the religious stuff. Because gold is, you know, gold. And it looks like gold in a rock. So, like that. And it looks very, very elegant. Très elegant. So, without further ado, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Brick by Brick. If you like what you see here, check out my channel. And check out the, all the other channels on this channel. Sounds confusing, I know. Um... And I will thank and I thank all of you so much for watching and all of you have a great and wonderful day. See ya!